Paul Nash Jr. What we gotta watch, what we gotta watch, what we gotta watch. Paul Nash Jr. What we gotta watch, what we gotta watch, what we gotta watch. Paul Nash Jr. What we gotta watch, what we gotta watch, what we gotta watch. Paul Nash Jr. What we gotta watch, what we gotta watch, what we gotta watch. Yeah, buddy, that's right. Get exposure right now. Holler at the homie Paul Mash, man, for Paul Mash TV. Hit up Paul Mash TV across all social media sites, alright? What we got next? We got next. Got next. Got next. Got next. Got next. Well, hello everybody, it's Paul Mash TV time again. We're glad that you could join us today. And we got another great interview coming up in just a moment. But as usual, let's go over all the ways you can contact me. And we've been getting a lot of feedback, and um, and we appreciate that. Uh, if you'd like to uh, email me, the address is paulmashtv, all one word, at gmail.com. And remember, it's not just for fan mail. If you're a band or solo artist, you can use that same email. Let us know what you know that you want to be able to on the show, and uh, we'll tell you how to do that. And uh, don't forget our Facebook page, uh, facebook.com forward slash Mash TV. Feel free to like the page, inbox us, uh, reply to the videos you see. And uh, don't forget to subscribe on uh, YouTube. Just click that subscribe button, hit the bell, and you'll always get the latest uh, interviews whenever they become available. And we have an official web address as well, and we'll give you that address on the closing credit screen uh, of the show, well, along with everything I just said. So we hope you stay tuned for that. Right now, from uh, Elizabeth, New Jersey, we have Billboard Pete, a very uh, talented hip-hop artist. And I know you're really going to like this guy, so uh, we'll get to that in a minute. But before we do, here's a quick word from Click Jam. Don't go away. Everybody, it's time for interview time, and with us from Elizabeth, New Jersey, we have Billboard Pete. Thanks for joining us, Pete. Thank you. Thank you for having me. How you doing, Paul? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I'm glad that we could uh, you could join us today. Um, uh, the first thing I like to do is ask everybody the same question because everybody has their own story. But tell us a little bit about how Billboard Pete decided he wanted to become a musician. Uh, like I said, everybody has their own story, so let's hear your story. Um, well, pretty much, I didn't decide that fact until I was about maybe 15. Um, and for some reason, I just started writing, you know what I'm saying? And it was like poetry at first, and you know what I'm saying? It was just regular. And then um, my older cousin, he came through, you know what I'm saying? And he started uh, spitting, spitting some raps. And I was like, whoa, what's the, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, I caught an idea, like, wait a minute, maybe this could be that, you know what I'm saying? Give me, it was a lot more energy involved with, with the words that way. And from that way, I started just practicing and going over different beats. I would go to my friend's house. He was a DJ. He would throw in different instrumentals or different songs. And you know what I'm saying? I would just pick up the mic and bug out indoors like that with him. And he was like, yo, you might be pretty good. I didn't take it serious, though. I didn't really seriously take it serious to probably like 17, 18 when I said, hold up, this is, this is probably something that you should just, you know, dig a little more deeper into, you know? So from then on, I, that's just always been my, uh, how would you say it? My outlet. Mm -hmm. It's just always been my outlet, the beats and the lyrics. Okay. Well, of course we'll get a taste of that in the video in a few minutes here. Um, but, uh, 
tell us about some of your influences. I mean, there was probably a lot of mainstream influences uh, that really motivated you to become a musician. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about those? That would be um, probably the first would have been like KRS-One because that's really like the first full hip hop album that I listened to. And um, that was um, BDP, Boogie Down Production. And it was like, I it was just hard. So that would be like the first influence to say, wow. Uh, and then came after that came along Onyx and the Ice Cubes and Ice Cube, you know what I'm saying? I'm in WA, but I really was bigger on Ice Cube than all of them. And then after that, it was, uh, you know, Death Row, Snoop Dogg. And then after that, it was Nas, Tupac. You feel what I'm saying? Jay-Z, yeah, Big, you know what I'm saying? And then from there, by that time, I had already grasped my own, um, my own interest. So it was like, if I'm going to learn, I'm going to learn from these influences right here. I'm going to be influenced by that greatness. So those would be the mainstream influences my number my number my two would be Nas and Tupac hmm. yeah well those those are pretty good influences there and uh, I still remember a lot of those uh, people especially Snoop Dogg I always liked him you know so uh, you can't go wrong with the oldies but goodies you know what I mean <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah yeah the foundation well, why don't, why don't you tell us a little bit about some of the albums that you have? Uh, is it all streaming or can you get physical copies as well? Maybe you can talk to us a little bit about that. Well, well um, I have a lot of singles released. Um, at the beginning of um, 2020, I'm going to release my first LP on streaming, which streaming wise, which would be The Game Ain't Free. Um, I have about four singles out. You know, I have a, um, my team members who I do features with, they have a few singles out. But for me, the game ain't free will be in January. Probably at the end of January is in master the mastering process right now. So the end of January, I will be dropping that full album. But for now, I do have the single Chubby out slow motion. Um, Dear Jersey, and I just dropped Carry Me. And um Chubby, Dear Jersey, The Game Ain't Free, um, and Carry Me, they all have visuals. You know, um, I'm I'm pretty much at the point where I'm a visual writer now. So if I'm writing it, I pretty much see how the video is going to come out. So I'm pretty much just scripting my words, you know, towards the art form. So when we do go put a visual together, all the components are there to match up and make sense to the story. So, you know, and it's not hard. It's almost like writing a movie almost. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, just, it's, it's not hard to that's that's how I go about it. So when you see something or we do pick or I do write, I write so it could be visually interpreted also. Okay. All right. And again, speaking of your music, I know we, uh, as I just mentioned a couple minutes ago, we're getting ready to watch a music video by you. Uh, can you tell us the name of the title and if there's a story behind the song and so forth? Which one would that be? Chubby? Let's say if, if yeah, you're playing I, I, Chubby, yeah, I, I know I'm know. Yeah, I believe it was Chubby, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chubby. Chubby is, um, that's the slang. That means everything a little bit bigger. You know, it's almost like um, an embellishment of things. And it's the slang word. So if I say, you know, what kind of glasses are those you wearing, Paul? And you may say, you know, they're, uh, you know, such and such, Dolce Gabbana. And I might say, oh, that's chubby. You know what I'm saying? That's a little bigger. You know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. something like that. Or the Paul, the Paul Mass shows chubby. You know, I like it. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit bigger. And that's what uh, chubby basically means. So everything got to be chubby, just a little bigger. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, the word chubby, whether you are chubby or not chubby, it just makes you feel good when you say it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I know it made me feel good because uh, I think chubby is probably the best compliment I've ever had on my show. So... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, but I do appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I do appreciate the kind words. Yeah. Bill uh, more Pete, I appreciate that. Yes. That's and, um, so anyway, we're going to get ready to watch that video in a moment. I think that's all we need from you right now. And uh, But we appreciate you coming on. We'd love to have you back sometime. Maybe if you got something new to plug in a few months or something. Okay, thank you. I appreciate you, Paul. Thank you for the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Everybody keep watching the Paul Mass show. You know, everything chubby. You know, because Paul 
airing it right now. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. Y'all go subscribe. You see this? You make sure you subscribe to his channel because he got a lot of up and coming artists and a lot of things that he's trying to put out. So if you go and you check it out and you my peoples and you see you see this link and you click on before you go off, make sure you subscribe to Paul's channel for me. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, Paul. I appreciate the supporters. Okay. Well, well, I appreciate those kinds of words again. Uh, you made my day. Uh, well, Bill so Moore it's all good, Paul. Okay, we're getting ready to play that video by Billboard Pete. So uh, let's watch that right now on Paul Mash TV. Don't go away. Yeah, boy's life, Billboard P. Driving and shooting. Twelve V's, let's go. Uh, yeah. Yo, when that thing hugs the block, you gotta be tough. Hop out the rocks. Gotta be chubby when I roll up, hold up, it gotta be chubby. I don't want no slim ends, it gotta be chubby. When that thing hug the block, gotta be chubby. Hop out the rock, gotta be chubby. When I roll up, hold up, it gotta be chubby. I don't want no slim ends, it gotta be chubby. And high definition, I speak the language for the viewer. In the chain of command, I set the angles like a jeweler. My spit game slick without the patch and the thick chain. I'm ridiculous, this kid's vernacular's insane. Stamping the gas as the tarantula switch lanes. My thoughts explode at the crossroad, I'll switch trains. I approach these MCs with several weapons, put dots in between what they rep like weather dresses. I'm really in shape, make way for the rapper, boy. One brick of bass to turn your state into a trapezoid. And if I can't be a rapper, boy, it's shine bright, then I'll turn out your life. Like a clapper boy, my hooks got trickier, my mic got crispier. Every time I recite, the life through my trekkier. Somebody has to die, and I ain't talk the physical. Too many fakes taking up my space like they lyric. When that thing hugs the block, gotta be chubby. Hop out the rock, gotta be chubby. When I roll up, hold up, it gotta be chubby. I don't want no slim ends, it gotta be chubby. The wrist chubby, the kick chubby. The latest devices hang off my hips, be chubby. My chick. Chubby, my spit, chubby The bass snare and the kick and the whip Be chubby, cats be talking Whips and chains when they butter eyes But I done seen them hop out of everything But around my rhyme flows crazy And my nines all safety I don't want to get cat, she's kind of full gazing I'm full, full special, cockpit jet view, big bro to whoever flow I'm put next to. I don't need a chest full of weed to be successful. And you ain't gotta come off trees to be a vegetable. I got a couple labels reaching. I ain't gonna say we eating to that treasure chest by my eyes like a laser treatment. Wrist lit up, relax, fit, get up. Holding whoever opposing, I fold them like a sit up. Of course, I'm supposed to rain. Pain, no Novocaine. Throw shot square in the air where I'm supposed to aim. Spit hell's fire, these bars. I Elmira, in all black I create crack out Elvira When that thing hugs the block, gotta be chubby Hop out the rocks, gotta be chubby When I roll up, hold up, it gotta be chubby I don't want no slim ends, it gotta be chubby The wrist chubby, the kicks chubby The latest devices hang off my hips, be chubby My chick chubby, my spit chubby The bass snare and the kick and the whip, be chubby I'm raw on the spot Four doors on a drop, I got hip-hop block like one door with a slot And my flow is vicious, for those that listen The glow fills the whole studio when I'm spitting I take things personal, there is no rehearsal So whoever go first after me is the first to go Mob style with it, hanging out of convertibles It's lonely at the top and I will not catch vertigo I will not fail, I'm everywhere that the birds will go The razor and the scale in case I have to get surgical The kid is a monster, I live like a monster I don't don't eat women, but they send me a vodka. You know the name, letting off the rifle in your vocal range. Find me running, do your search ending like an oil change. Ain't no man alike, shake all parasites. Push my buttons and I will drop it on your landing site. I get bread, infrared, looking like a camera light. Them thin threads to pin them heads like candlelights. With my flow position up, I'm so official. Plus, my wave stays on the same page as the listener. When that thing hugs the block, gotta be chubby. Hop out the rocks, gotta be chubby. When I roll up, hold up, it gotta be chubby. I don't want no slim ends, it gotta be chubby. The wrist chubby, the kicks chubby. The latest devices hang off my hips, be chubby. My chick chubby, my spit chubby. The bass snare and the kick and the whip, be chubby. <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir. Things are definitely gonna be far from normal for a while. 
won't be long before everybody realizes it. Gotta be chump, chump, chump.